We all have places that we feel comfortable in, places that we feel relaxed and happy. Our home should be a place like that, somewhere where we can relax and feel good. Our church should also be somewhere like that. We should feel comfortable when we're at our church. For me, one of those places is an airplane hangar. And I know that might seem strange to some of you, but I just love being around aviation. I love being around airplanes. For me, airplanes represent the possibilities and the potential. They're kind of a, a representation of freedom. I love the expression, a mile of highway will take you just one mile, but a mile of runway will take you anywhere. From the point of view, when you lift off, you have 360 degrees of potential. The possibilities are all around you. You can go in any direction, unencumbered, except potentially by air traffic control. Today, I want to talk to you about our Christian walk. Once we commit our lives to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, how do we move forward? Our walk with God, our walk with Christ is just that. It's a walk. That means we need to be moving forward. I want to use aircraft as an example. An aircraft is designed and built for maximum efficiency in flight. It's designed in such a way that when you get airflow going over the wing, it produces lift. And that's what lifts the aircraft off the ground. I know a lot of people think it's just magic, but that's pretty much it in a nutshell and in a very simplistic form. But in order to get the air rushing past the wings to produce lift, there has to be forward momentum. And that's why airplanes are designed with engines to push them forward and create airflow over the wing surface. The engine drives the airplane forward and it creates airflow over the wings and that causes the lift that which rises up into the air, hopefully before you get to the end of the runway. We, in turn, are designed by God to have a purpose in His kingdom. We have the right set of tools for the job. We're given spiritual gifts. Many of us have the same spiritual gifts. Others have different spiritual gifts. Some have different combinations, but that's okay because everybody has a purpose and we're given the tools for that purpose. Then there's the fruit of the Spirit. This should be a common characteristic in all Christians or followers of Christ. In the same way that planes all have certain things on them, like wings and wheels, have engines and a fuselage, the fruit of the Spirit we should all have in common as Christians. But then the spiritual gifts are like the other things that are on airplanes that give them the ability to do a different job. Some are passenger planes, some are cargo planes, some spray crops, some are weapons of war, and others are just training planes. But we have a purpose. But the problem comes if we don't move forward. If we sit and contemplate these gifts, or we just ignore these gifts altogether, I mean, we know we're a Christian, but we just aren't moving forward, then we don't gain momentum, and we don't move forward in life. We don't get to take off, because we're not creating airflow needed to fly. And with that in mind, there's a passage in Scripture from the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, starting at verse 28. And it says, Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and His understanding no one can fathom. He gives great strength to the weary and increases the power for the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fail. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on the wings like eagles, and they will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. They will soar on the wings like eagles. This is the power of God in our lives. We can soar on the wings like eagles, but we have to take a step. We have to move forward. We have to create momentum and create the airflow over our wings the wings that God gives us in order for Him to lift us up, and He will. It takes us being very intentional in our Christian walk to make something happen. We can't sit and wait for God to do things in our lives. We have to pray for direction. We have to fire up those engines. We have to accelerate down the runway and embrace the design that God has for our lives, and He will lift us up. And then we will see the amazing potential that we have in the kingdom of God. We will see the possibilities. We will experience the freedom of being in Christ and working in His kingdom. A plane is just a paperweight. 
when it's sitting in a hangar. A Christian who isn't moving forward is just somebody who has a conviction about something but isn't willing to do anything about it. In both cases, there's so much potential. There's so many possibilities, but it takes forward movement. If we don't embrace our gifts and our purpose, and if we do our own thing, if we take our own path and we ignore everything the scripture says, then we're just traveling a mile down the highway. But when we accept that God has a plan and what he has in store for us, then we begin to travel in that direction and we will lift off before the mile of runway ends. And at that point, we will fly on the wings of eagles. We will run and not grow weary. We will walk and not be faint. On Sunday, Pastor Tim talked about sacrifice and prayer during this week. So take an opportunity today to sacrifice and to pray. And I'm gonna pray right now for our nation and for our leaders, no matter what the political party is. So let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we're just grateful for the words of Isaiah. We're grateful for your scriptures, the direction that it provides for us in all that we do. We just pray that we can embrace this move forward in our walk and be able to fly on the wings like eagles. Lord, today I wanna to pray for our nation, for those that lead this nation, for the president, for those advising him, that they will seek wisdom from you in all that they do. So Lord, please help direct these leaders in the way that they should be going to maximize what we should be happening in this country. Lord, most of all, we pray that they will lift their eyes to you. That they won't just lean on earthly things like politics or money or any other things that influence decisions, that they will make decisions based on your direction, on your word, on the Holy Spirit. And we pray this in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen.